Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to explain to you in this video why you need multiple chainsaws. So if you are trying to buy more chainsaws and your wife won't allow, please direct her towards this video. So <laughs> anyways, I always get that comment. Why are you using multiple chainsaws on uh, one tree? And here's why. We're going to get right into it and then we're going to do some forestry, some tree cutting after. So the meat and potatoes of this video is right now. The reason why I run three chainsaws is I have a felling saw, a bucking saw, and then a, a power saw. So my arsenal is a CS490, CS590, and then a 257 Husqvarna with a 28 inch bar. Now you're gonna see all three of these in this video, but anyways, we're gonna follow this tree behind me with the Echo CS490. Um, we're gonna run the 590 a little bit, and then we're gonna do primarily most of the bucking with the 257 Husky. It's got that long bar, so I won't be bending over, so. That is why I run three saws. I have pretty much two fallers, one power saw. If I got really, really big wood, like a big diameter tree, I run the 590 with the 20 inch bar because that's my most powerful saw. And then the 257 Husky is just really easy, nice bucking, uh, no complaints there. So yeah, without further ado, let's roll right into it and show you what we got going on. Real here, we got this dead snag. See that? Hazard. We have that hazard hanging out here right above us. Um, normally I like to leave dead trees like this for the bugs and stuff to chew and eat on. Um, but it's a hazard we're working around with. What we're going to do today actually is take one of these two trees. Again, we are sustainably harvesting firewood. So I think we're going to try to take this one. Um, I don't know. This one doesn't seem to be uprooted. But, uh, it's going to get hung up in that tree and I don't want to deal with that. So... I think we're just going to take this one, cut it up into some good firewood, um, maybe take care of that snag, kind of open this up a little bit, let some stuff breathe.
see, you could see what I did there. This is a 16 inch conventional piece of firewood and then this will be a log for our outdoor wood boiler. Those of you who may not know or are just joining us, we heat our home with an outdoor wood boiler. So that takes care of the CS490. So now we're gonna switch to the um, Husky 257 with the long bar. I'm gonna show you why I run the long bar for my bucking saw. So the tree is all felled. We're all set with this. I use the 490 to fell and then flush cut the stump and then we're gonna switch, like I said, to the big saw. So let's get right into it. All right, folks, Whew, I'm out of breath. I don't know where my picaroon went. I don't know, I don't remember you. I, I brought everything back the last time I was out here, so I don't know, maybe I left it here. Well, if it's out here in the snow, it's gone now. But anyways, uh, whew, excuse me. Going back to where we started, I'm going to leave this. There is no firewood value in that. And there's no reason for me to stand underneath it and try to get it down with that branch in there. Everything is leaning this way. The trail is right here, so it's not an immediate safety hazard. We're just gonna go ahead and leave it. But we cut that stump, cut that tree down, we flush cut the stump. We got all the tree out of here. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just walk away. Sometimes walking away is the best thing. So anyways, this was kind of a mixed video. That's why I run, the main question of this, main purpose of this video is why I run three saws. So one for felling, one for bucking, and a spare. If you pinch your bar or one blows up or you know you hit a rock or something stupid, uh, at least you have an extra. I don't want to be out here changing chains and sharpening saws. No thanks. I'd rather do that in the comfort of my uh, workbench. So yeah, folks, we're going to go bring this wood back. This is trip number three. This is going into the firewood corral for Josh. So we're going to bring this back. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what saws you run in the comments below. Again, I love everything. I'm not a just a straight echo man. I'll run anything. So uh, let me know what saws you have below in the comments. Like I always say, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. And we will see you out in the woods.